Hey everybody, today I'm going to bring you an unboxing of the Amazon Kindle Paperwhite. Now this is an e-reader device, so if you're not into reading, um, this probably isn't the device for you. But if you are into reading, then you'll definitely love this. Now this is not a new device by any means, it's been out for quite a while. But I just decided to do an unboxing. Now, uh, the model I have here is a Wi-Fi model, which is $120. Uh, there is a 3G model, which is a bit more expensive, and it's free 3G, so you're going to have to do some sort of plan uh, for it. So you get free 3G, but I just decided to go for the Wi-Fi model. Now, the Paperwhite is not the latest and greatest uh, e-reader from Amazon. There's a better one called the Kindle Voyage. Um, the difference between the Voyage and the Paperwhite is that the Voyage has a more sort of flat display. You don't have these sort of raised up bezels. And on the Voyage's bezels, you get these sort of pressure points where if you put pressure on them, um, you could flip pages. But I didn't really need that. I just decided to save a bit of money and just go for the Paperwhite. Now the special thing about the Kindle Paperwhite is it comes with a display that actually lights up. So if you want to read in the dark, um, you could do that. And I mentioned this, I think, before, is that this is a Wi-Fi model. In terms of storage, I believe it comes with, I think it was either 2 gigs or 4 gigs, don't quote me on that. Um, but Amazon says it's good to carry uh, around over a thousand books, which is plenty for me. Now, quick glance over the packaging on the back, just talks over some uh, features. We'll um, <clears throat> talk about that during the unboxing. See a picture of that on the back. All right, let's open this up. Um, I did open this up previously and already set it up. You got a nice sleeve there. Again, simple Amazon packaging we've seen for a few years now. Now, you do usually get a pull tab, I already ripped it up. And again, you uh, normally see the Kindle wrapped up in plastic, excuse the glare with the overhead light. You do normally get uh, this wrapped up in plastic, but I already did take it out. Here is the Kindle Paperwhite. Now it's very light. Uh, when you first pick this up, it's pretty surprising how light it is. You get a sort of matte textured back. You get a six inch display, a very high resolution. Amazon claims to have um, better contrast with this display as well. And we'll take a look at it in a short moment. Let's put this away. Now in the box you get one micro USB cable. It's a, can I get this to focus? It is a full-size USB to a micro USB cable. Um, you do not get a power adapter in the box, which is a bit of a shame. Um, you could purchase a separate Amazon power adapter. Or if you have a different power adapter, say, say like an Apple um, Apple plug, you could use that. Um, but if you do want uh, an extra power adapter, you have to buy that separately. Now, this cable is actually pretty long. Um, so if you want to extend it across a long uh, distance, you could do that. On the top here, you get a sort of pamphlet, getting to know your Kindle. So if you want to read that, I don't know, you don't really need that. All right, <clears throat> and that is in else in the uh, everything in the packaging. Very clean, very simple, and I'm just going to tidy everything up here on my desk. All right, so you could download books really fast on this in less than in 60 seconds or less and you do get really really great battery life um i haven't charged this thing it's been i think it was 20 or 30 days now and it still has really good battery life um you do not need to charge this every day again that's a special thing about these uh e-readers from amazon is that they could last pretty much a month on standby or even more, depending on you know how heavy you use this thing. Now, here is the display. I just want to bring up a close set, a close up again. Six inch display. And on the bottom here, I don't have really good lighting, do I? No, I don't. All right, so on the bottom, you do get a micro USB port for charging and syncing. Here in the middle you see a tiny little LED light which turns, which is yellow if it's charging and turns green when it's um, fully charged. And then you get a power button. Unlike previous Kindles, like the old Kindle keyboard where it had a speaker, if you wanted to sort of do text-to-speech reading, uh, this Kindle does not have speakers. So I'm a little disappointed by that, but it doesn't really matter. And on the side, 
you get nothing on the top, nothing on the other side, nothing on the back. You just have this simple sort of embossed uh, shiny Amazon logo. And then some serial number stuff on the bottom. And that's pretty much it. And I really like this matte soft uh, textured back. Uh, one downside with this back though is that if your hands are sort of sweaty or greasy, um, it does definitely mark up the display. Um, if your hands are sweating and if your hands are oily, definitely uh, the oil sort of just sticks on there. And if you want to wipe it off with a cloth, there's sort of like a permanent sort of scuff there that you really can't get out. So I don't really like this uh, back that much, but in terms of comfort and holding it, I really do love it. On the sides here, you get this pretty big bezel to hold on to. And as you can see, it sort of sticks up and is raised up. On the bottom, you just have this Kindle Kindle wording. Pretty thick bottom there. And yeah, so let's power this thing on. Now, when you power it on, you can see the uh, display lights up. Now, unlike traditional sort of LCD or LED displays, Oh, where it's backlit, this display is actually frontlit. So there's actually lights on the side that are actually emitting a light to hit the front instead of the light coming out of the back, which Amazon says will be better on your eyes so your eyes don't strain. <clears throat> now, this is a touchscreen, pretty responsive. Let's put in my passcode. Now, this touchscreen, again, works like a traditional touchscreen, maybe like a smartphone or tablet. Very responsive, even if I tap it very lightly, it's very, very sensitive and could um, register a touch very quickly. Now, taking a, oops, wrong button here. Let's click home. Now, taking a look at the UI, it may seem a little confusing straight, straight at a first glance for people who haven't used a Kindle before, but once you actually get used to it, it's very simple. So here you see, you get cloud and on the device, so everything on my device is here. So you can see all my books that I have, just swipe through. These are all the books that I have. Now, <clears throat> on the bottom here, oops, no, go back. On the bottom here, you get recommendations, depending on what kind of books you read. Um, it'll try its best to try to find books that you'll like. On the top here, you do get a, your home button, you do get a back button, you do get the sort of light bulb icon, and when you click that, you could change the brightness of display. Pretty cool, right? So Amazon says that you really don't need to change the brightness of the display, you know, that often. Um, they say that even in bright sunlight, you'll keep it on all the time. Um, Amazon also says that even though the brightness is all the way up, it will not dramatically drain your battery life. So you don't have to worry about that. Me personally, I just like to keep it at at number 17 right here. It's not too bright, not too dark. It's comfortable for my eyes. Now here is your Kindle store if you want to purchase books. If you do want to access the store, you do have to connect it to Wi-Fi. Now keep in mind your battery life will be dramatically worse if you have Wi-Fi on the entire time. Um, if you want to get longer battery life, say the like an entire month, you may want to turn off your Wi-Fi. You do get a search option here if you want to search your library. And you do get this sort of G right here, which stands for Goodreads. I don't really want to open that up, but it's pretty much like a service where, I guess like a social network type of thing, but except you can see what other books people are reading. You can see what, um, you could be friends with other people, that people you know. And yeah, it's pretty interesting. Now here you do get a sort of sidebar, so it shows Shop Kindle, Kindle Free Time, Vocabulary Builder. Now you do get an experimental browser. So you do get a internet browser on this Kindle, which is pretty nice. Um, but it's not like a browser you may expect. It's pretty, pretty slow. Um, but you can see, since this is an e-ink display, it won't handle animation very well. Um, but say I wanted to go to, uh, let's say, apple.com. Apple. Now you can see it's not the quickest um, processor, so you need to go slow when typing. Apple.com. Click enter. And it'll pull up the website for Apple.com. Pretty neat.
<clears throat> so if you want to use that browser, you can. And uh, yeah, you get your settings. If you want to change any of your settings, I do have some sensitive information in these things. So let's get out of that. And yeah. Now, if you want to click on the cloud, see what things you have in the cloud, it'll show you that. And you can download your books from the cloud. All right. Um, let's show you what it's like reading a book here. So you see I have a book opened up. This is the Steve Jobs biography. Um, f to flip a page, just do that. If you want to turn left, you have, to, you have a very, very small section if you want to turn left, which is right there. Now the reason Amazon did that is because some people are left-handed, some people are right-handed. So if you want to turn to the right, people who are left-handed just need to reach over to turn right. And if people are left-handed, simple, you have that little area right there, a centimeter of space. Now, on the top, if you click the top here, it'll bring up your sort of toolbar, navigation bar, or whatever you want to call it. And you can access all your stuff. On Up here, you see you could change your font size and your <clears throat> font style as well. You could change the line spacing and the margin size as well. Now you could click go to, so you could jump to areas in the books. So you have table of contents, different pages, chapters. Um, you could bookmark stuff, you could highlight stuff. You do all those options right there. And there's an option called X-Ray. And what X-Ray is, it's pretty much <clears throat> a tool where it helps break down things in the book. So if you want to sort of a breakdown of the people that are all mentioned in a book or a specific chapter. You can do that. So you can see Johnny Ive, uh, Steve Jobs, Wozniak, John Scully. So it helps organize things in the book. And you can do share. So if you want to share some stuff in a bookmark bar. So if you want to bookmark your page, you can do that. Now on the bottom, you do see the percentage of how far you're into the book and you see the page number. If you want to change that, you can change it to how much uh, minutes you have left in the chapter, how, how much time you have left in the book. Now it automatically analyzes that the, the amount of time depending on your reading speed. And you get your location in the book. I like to keep it on the page. Now you have a thing called WordWise. Now what WordWise is, it helps uh, pull up sort of highlight words that may seem confusing to you. So it's just pretty much like a vocabulary helper thing. And yeah, that's the reading experience. It's very simple, right? So that's pretty much it. Now again, on the top, I just want to, before I go, you could name what your Kindle is. So I have Joseph's Kindle Paperwhite. I'm connected to Wi-Fi. You can see my battery life right there and the time. And other than that, that's pretty much the Kindle Paperwhite. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, before I head off, um, there is a case uh, that I want to show you. This is the official Amazon Genuine Leather uh, Kindle Paperwhite case. It has a metal clasp here and it's magnetic it has this sort of rubber pretty much a really really stiff rubber and then nice sort of denim kind of material in the middle on this inside flap now I just want to put this in and show you guys real quick alright here it is in the case so if you close it it goes to sleep. If you open it, it wakes it up. So it's like if you know the sort of Apple iPad smart cover, it's a similar thing. So if I unlock this, oops, and then close it, it locks my Kindle. So yeah, that's the case for it. There's other cases floating on the web and in stores, but this is my personal favorite. All right, so thanks everybody for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Um, I will leave my Twitter link down below, so if you want to follow me on Twitter, I'll greatly appreciate it. So thanks for watching. Check out my channel, and I'll um, definitely appreciate it. Thank you.